Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Now this gal just shed. But she's not a big feeder, huh? Oh, but she's gonna eat this time. She just goes into hiding when I turn her overhead light on because it's too hot for her. Rhino vipers are deep forest snakes. Uh, they're semi-aquatic. They end up, uh, you know, sometimes basking along rivers and streams, but for the most part, they, they don't do that. They, they, don't, uh, they don't like bright lights. They don't like excess heat. And because the Denichistrodon's light is below her, her temperature, you know, she's got a very nice hot spot on the, on the cage. It's 90 degrees right above his light. So that's plenty warm for her. Uh, right now, she's 76 and seems to be quite happy with that. So... Uh, we try to let the snakes find the temperatures they want, not what we want and what people tell us they think they need. Uh, let the snake figure it out on its own. So, you know, they've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> well, Aren't they called river jacks? Yes, they're called river jacks. Um, it was one of my favorite snakes as I was growing up, and it's been a real pleasure. Um, uh, keeping them, uh, although they are very difficult and tricky to keep. They are very prone to respiratory infections and such. Um, but uh, we're going to feed the weasel next and we're going to get out of here so she can uh, relax and uh, uh, enjoy her meal. Okay, so we're going to feed the weasel. Now, I don't know where the head is, but I'm sure it is up front right there. So the weasel will go pop probably. Oh, I see the tail twitching. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first sign. So we will open this. Oh! <laughs> and pop goes the weasel. <laughs> Hello, bud. Nice oh, to he see is you. very anxious. Ah. All right, all right. Relax, dude. Here, you can savage your mouse. There you go. You know, and if you look at my glasses and face, he splished mouse water all over my glasses and <laughs> well, face. Well, remember when he gooshed one of them and it uh -oh. got all over me? Yep. All right. So he's happy, he's taking his mouse back into his uh, cage, at least I, I hope he does that without any uh, uh, interjection. You know, the, hang there, dude? The, yeah, the less, the less I handle, the less I touch the snakes, uh, uh, you know, the happier everybody is. The, I try to no touch as much as possible. Uh, you know, I don't give my sand vipers baths on a weekly <laughs> basis like some other idiot keeper does. Um, I generally don't take animals out and soak them. Um, you know, the less you bother these creatures, the, the happier they are. So... He's a bit disappointing because he really didn't masticate this poor mouse. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's enjoying that. Are you going to take it back in? Or are you just going to sit there and eat it? I think he's going to sit there and eat it because then he's going to force me to offer him another one <laughs> uh, in a minute. So, just 
let's keep our distance and let's give uh, this uh, uh, elegant pit viper uh, something to eat. Well, Blue has already made a little racetrack in his <laughs> freshly cleaned cage in the substrate. Yes. Oh. oh, we're finally going back in. Okay. And Corny's uh, moving about and uh, yes, he's checking. I'm sure hungry. Yeah, you don't normally see Corny. Um, he's a little. He was a little baby normal corn snake that uh, somebody, you know, didn't want because he was normal. Um, so I took him home, and uh, this is Viper Keeper, and I have been taking care of him. Come on, dude. Yes, we didn't want him to end up as That's sneak food. food for someone else. Yeah, so we rescued him. Come on, dude. Oh, there you go. There you go, buddy. He's one of two non-venomous snakes we have. Oh yes, I forgot. <laughs> Another rescue. Another rescue, that's right. Yeah. You guys don't often see these guys, but... Um, they are here. They are here. We only take them as rescues uh, because our, my real nature is, is keeping venomous. Are you having fun there, Mr. Weasel? <laughs> Mr. Puffy is looking pensive over there, hoping that uh, we provide something else. Yeah, he's been just very grouchy because he has not gotten as much food as he wants. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yeah, that's classic uh, defensive puff at her. Come on, dude, I got other, other fish to fry. If you want another one, you're going to have to hurry that one along. You're taking your sweet time. That's unusual for uh, him. All right, well, let him go. And like I said, we have the elegant pit viper, which we may see briefly for a flash. Um, this is one of the three females I have. I don't have males. I don't have plans to breed them. But this one was always uh, in a position where it wasn't getting any food because the other ones were hogs. So this one I moved into a spare cage and uh, she's getting fed on a regular basis now. And as you can see, she seems to be quite happy about that. This is also known as the Sashakima Habu, uh, Protobothrops elegans. Very, very cool snakes. Uh, a friend of mine, um, uh, Alexander, uh, down in Texas, I think he was uh, the first guy in the U.S. to breed these. He did. He's a very good herpetoculturist. So what's the weasel up to behind my back? I just folded it all into one tidy package and was shoving it down his gullet. Uh. Oh, here we can actually see some of her fang movements. Yeah, if if she finishes that while we're standing here, I will uh, I'll offer her another one because uh, she's not a big uh, a good feeder uh, for a female rhino. I, I don't know what her issue is. Uh, she was on loan. I think she's a 2012 baby. Um, she was on loan at, to a zoo for the longest time and then the zoo cut back their venomous collection and I took her back and she's been here for a while. So, Weasel, what are you up to, huh? Why are you looking at me, Weasel? Because you're the closest thing to the <laughs> cage that he can possibly get to. Forget uh, it. I'm way back here. 
So let's just see if we can, uh, if he wants to try to stuff this in his mouth. Huh? No? Yes? Okay. If you insist. You're going to fold that one in half, too. <laughs> one lumps or two in the throat. <laughs> See if we can position this a little better. Oh, there you go, down the throat. Okay, Weasel, why don't you and your second mouse go in there so we can perhaps offer this Rhino Viper a second one. And notice how slowly I'm moving, because we don't want, like to startle the snakes either. Although they like to startle us when we're walking by, sometimes they'll slam the glass. So let's give her another one. Let's find a nice big one since... Was that tasty? Was that tasty? Maybe. No. I was about to say this may be unsuccessful, but. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> oh, Puffy. Calm down. Ugh, telling a puff at her to calm down, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's not in their nature. Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely uh, always in a cranky mood. Uh, especially when there's food in the room, he expects be fed every single time as much as possible. And you're putting on quite a show for us. Miss Green, did you get tired of being ignored? Miss Green's on top of her log now. Yeah, she seemed a little irritated. So I imagine, even though she's nice at uh, 76 right now, I imagine when we uh, leave, and she, because snakes don't like to see mo them moving ar around, so she probably won't move until after we leave the room, but I almost guarantee that she'll move over to the hot spot for digestion. Um, well, thank you for this show. It's a very rare treat uh, yes. for her. The, the other one that I have is a lot more uh, into feeding on cue and a lot more sociable. This rhino viper is from the country of... Uh, of uh, Guinea. Africa, and the other one that's across the room is from Benin, where actually my daughter uh, uh, stayed for a year and a half uh, during her stint in the Peace Corps, teaching uh, English uh, and t basically teaching school in English as a second language to the uh, children uh, of Benin. Uh, wonderful people there, wonderful country. Um, uh, she never saw a snake when she was there, but did have a scorpion fall uh, from the ceiling onto her head. She wasn't <laughs> stung, but uh, it was uh, uh, quite the uh, interesting experience for her. But, you know, we lived in Arizona for the longest time, and scorpions uh, were quite common. Well, let's see if she wants another. Since she's not, uh, I want to put some uh, 
some food in her gullet and get her uh... no that was enough these are very shy animals uh... so you can easily put them off you want this? No? Nope. Nope, I think she's done. She just may not be ready for her, she may be done. So we're just going to wait here. Unfortunately, you can't get close to the cage to see uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Weasel masticating his <laughs> mouse there. Oh, she took it. There, there we go. go. Okay, so we've bothered her enough, so we will get ready to uh, call it a day uh, for Miss uh, Rhino Viper. It's very nice uh, because, like I said, she's a sporadic feeder. She's not... Uh, like the other rhino viper from Benin, who will eat until it explodes, basically. <laughs> but the, this isn't healthy. Uh, as you can see, she has a very nice weight and very nice shape. And she's actually quite colorful. It's just that uh, I don't have... Oh, I do have. Why is her cage light out? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I have a white light, uh, daylight in there, and it's it's not on. Um, back up a little bit so I can go past without her possibly taking a swing at my chest. And I can explore where the wire goes. It's not on because it's not plugged in. Oh, <laughs> well. Weasel, don't make so much noise while you're eating. <laughs> for those cages goes on this side um, but anyway uh, let me close the door In this way she feels more secure and I'm more secure mm -hmm. and we'll show him just brutalizing that poor little mouse <laughs> Mr. Mouse is uh, not feeling any pain. Yeah, well, this is true. This is true. All right. Well, I'm having trouble getting a good view of him just because of all the where he snotted up the glass and from all the light and shadows bouncing it, off. Yeah, of hand me that long hook over there uh, on the wall. So I can loop this around and push it through, and you can maybe grab it on the other side where all the power is located. So uh, we'll just make a loop on the end here. You get sort of used to doing these crazy gyrations. Uh, it's a lot better than... Oh, there it is. Yep. ...than rolling the whole thing out. You got it? Yep, I got it. So, I know. Oh, we're still There we are. Little girly. Okay. I can probably take it from under there. All right. I guess we need to shut down now. Yeah.